Hello Columbia, I'm Megan McNish and I'm a preservation planner with Planning and Development Services. And I'm Rachel Walling, another preservation planner. Um, today we're here to talk about Preservation Month. Um, we have a number of events planned for the City of Columbia. Preservation Month was started by the National Trust for Historic Preservation in the 1970s as a way to celebrate local history and preservation efforts. So these are really local events um, to celebrate the history of Columbia and we have a number of them this year. So our first event is an ongoing one throughout the month of May. It's an architectural scavenger hunt in the Vista. It's available both online and at the Columbia Visitor Center. Those scavenger hunts can be submitted for prizes. The goal of the scavenger hunt is to try and determine um, where the architectural details that are included come from. So you'll give the address. There are also some clues included to try and help you find those buildings. It's really an opportunity to take a look around at the buildings Maybe if you never notice certain features, um, kind of have some fun with the exploring the Vista, and maybe do a little shopping while you're down there too. Our next event is on May 11th from 10 a.m. until noon. It's a children's activity at the City Arts Center. We're going to be designing and creating our own buildings inspired by the beautiful buildings on Main Street. We'll be using um, brown paper bags to design those and some different materials. It's for the young and the young at heart. Um, we're not limiting anyone who wants to come and design their own building with us. Um, you can just come by the uh, Art Center that day and just drop in anytime between 10 and noon for that event. Our next event is on May 16th starting at 6 p.m. It's a film screening of Citizen Jane Battle for the City which retraces um, iconic urban activist Jane Jacobs' struggle against Robert Moses in the 1960s. The film is uh, presented with the Columbia Design League. It will be at the uh, Columbia Museum of Art. There's a social hour starting at 6 p.m., but the movie will start at 7 p.m. Reservations are required for this event, so if you visit Columbia Museum's website, you can find more information there. Our last event of Preservation Month will be May 19th, starting at 9 a.m., and it'll be a preservation bike ride. On this bike ride, we'll be discussing planning in Columbia and uh, Columbia in the 1960s and the start of the preservation movement here. And blue bikes are also available for that event, so if you want to register for the event, you can let us know and we will have a blue bike ready for you for the ride. You can register online. We've got an Eventbrite page up. Um, tickets are free, uh, but as Rachel said, we do require reservations in advance. The bike ride will be probably close to six miles um, and it will involve hills and riding in some on Main Street so whoever um, participates just needs to be comfortable with that type of bike riding. More information about these events and others that may be going on in some of our local historic districts are all on our website. Uh, they'll link you to uh, the Eventbrite pages for uh, the Preservation Bike Ride as well as the Jane's Walk. Um, so you can find some more information there. So Preservation Month is a great time to get out and explore your city, maybe see some things in a new way, talk about history, learn, learn a little bit about your city you may not have been aware of. Um, so we have several activities that will get you out, get you looking around, experiencing things in different ways, um, and while celebrating the history of Columbia. These events are going to be really fun. We've put a lot of um, hard work and energy into developing programs that we're really excited about and we hope that that's going to translate to your experience. And they're all free. 